Coming us, I'm Jason Salas. This is Extra and it's Friday, which means we have a jam-packed show. Tonight, we're going to bring more details on Winefest and Gaines Doggy Run this October. But first, we have motivational speaker Dwayne Montgomery, a.k.a. Coach Payne, with us. So we are bringing the pain right now. Now, trust me when I tell you, everybody, motivational speakers, they inspire, they get you pumped up. You have seen nothing like Coach Payne. So he joins us right now. How you Half doing? Half a day, man. Half a day. How an honor you? to meet you. It's an honor to okay. meet you. Your website is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. And of course, we featured you last night when you spoke at the seminar. Yes, sir. That was an incredible experience. You know, some, you. some people, they use, some people quote scripture. Other people, you know, have their own key phrases that they like to repeat and everything. Yes, sir. Your style is high energy. You also draw a lot from your own experience. Yes, sir. Okay. Absolutely. What's the, what's the message you bring to Guam? Well, the thing is that I'm, I'm here for the first time and, uh, you know, I've never had an opportunity to be in this particular environment and culture. Uh, but I believe that when it's all said and done, you know, what I bring and how I am is that at the end of the day, we're all human beings. Mm -hmm. Everybody has different experiences. Everybody has different challenges. I believe what I bring is something that's a little bit raw. It's not so much rehearsed kind of thing or nothing you know, wrong with that. But I believe that it's all about the moment and you have to capture it and then you try to bring it out. Not necessarily overdoing it, not overthinking it, but just feeling it and understanding what it really means and how to help people to pursue, pursue whatever goals that they have in life. You know, there are certain, certain circumstances that many people have in life, but I believe that my part in the role that I play in this world is just be a messenger and just follow the path that I've been chosen to be doing. So I'm very thankful for that opportunity to be here in Guam, and hopefully I can reach a lot of people here. Would you say that you try and preach you know, um, a message of positivity or is it like, you know, challenging yourself or living up to your potentials? Absolutely. I think we're, we're all somewhat our teachers as well as students. And I believe when I speak, uh, it's not necessarily me speaking. I always like to say I look to a higher power for mm -hmm. what I do because I can't take credit for what I do. I can't take all the glory. It's not my glory. It Absolutely. belongs to the man. And, uh, you know, whether you believe in God or not, I always give God the glory and I always thank God for my opportunities and what I've done and what I continue to do Amen. because without him, nothing is possible. That's just who I am. And he uses me in that position to do what I do. So I believe that when I'm speaking and the things that I'm saying, it's not necessarily me, but it is me. I mean, it's coming from my heart. It's coming from my gut. So I speak based on what I've experienced and what I know other people have experienced. Sometimes people don't want to really, as I said in the, in the, uh, the uh, speaking engagement that we had, people would rather believe a lie than the truth. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to hear it. They want to hear what they want they to hear. They want to hear what they want to hear. And, and you can't do that. You know, I think that's what gets a lot of people in trouble because it's like anything. It's like if you go into a situation and you're not mentally and physically and spiritually trained to deal with that particular situation because someone lied to you or faked the funk with you or got you in a position to believe that everything's this, no one has honestly looked you in the face and said, look, you need to fix this. You need to do better than this. You need to stop making excuses and you need to push forward because every time people put themselves in that position and when the moment of truth happens, now they don't know how to deal with it because they haven't been put in that position. Mm -hmm. So when you get knocked down a few times, you're going to either figure out how to get up or you're going to stay down there and feel sorry for yourself. Now I got to ask because you said you you grew up in the church and you you've got a very strong sense of faith obviously you give God the glory Absolutely. as you should I have no shame in that How did Dwayne become coach Payne? Good question. Be because you know your, your style again people watched <laughs> it and they were like wow you know people people were blown away and, and then you know, so so how did you how did you become Well the, the, I don't want to say alter ego and No then, no it's not that at all. I think the thing is you know it, it's now that coach Payne is such a household name it's like Bruce Lee you mm -hmm. know, and any other actor or any celebrity out there. Not, and let me just refer to that. I'm not a celebrity. I never want to be considered that. I never want to be a superstar. That's not something I believe in. I believe that people of that caliber, in my opinion, once you get so high up, you forget how you got up. And then when you get up too high, you lose oxygen. You lose oxygen. You fall back down. Nobody's there to catch you. So I don't get too wrapped up in that. I believe that I'm approachable. But the whole name Coach Payne basically came from just clients that I've trained in the past because I've been in the fitness industry for about 30 years now. And I have an intense way of coaching, an intense way of training, an intense way of pe teaching people. And I don't like to say training. I like to say coaching. But I believe that, you know, when you have an opportunity to do something, to help people, to be better than what they were yesterday, it just opens up a different avenue. So the whole 
Coach Payne became more of a household name. So I'm rarely nobody usually called me by my, my maiden name. It's usually just Coach Payne. Mm -hmm. So and I'm very and, and I adopted that name and I, and I own it and I'm very thankful for the opportunity to have it. And the thing that's so remarkable about, about your bio, CoachPayne.net is the website, right? Correct. Check him out, everybody. This, this site is crazy. <laughs> um, your style is also, also very, very distinct. Yes, sir. Um, how long did it take you to actually adopt this style? And, and again, if you grew up in church, you probably saw like a lot of high, effective sermons. Yeah. Obviously, that had something to do with I, your I, style. I wouldn't necessarily say it because I was very young in the church and grew up in the church and things like that. I wouldn't say that I was an everyday going to church kind of guy, mm -hmm. but it was my upbringing. You know, good people in my life. My mom, my dad, you know, may she rest in peace. Uh, my grandparents, the people that surround, who I was surrounded by. Uh, I came from a, not a strict family, but a, a family that, that believed in values, that believed in principles. And three things that my father always taught me is respect, love, and discipline. Respect yourself, respect others. Love yourself, love others. Discipline yourself or you will be disciplined. That's very true. That's the way it works. I mean, if you can just follow those three principles, you'll be amazed at what you can accomplish. Mm -hmm. So I live that life, even at where I'm at in my life right now, we're all responsible for our actions. So yeah, you, you get lessons from everybody and everything. I believe you learn more from people than just opening up a book, you know, because a book is just text and it's only so much information in the book, but there's another chapter that no one has ever seen. That's true. That chapter can be you. I actually could have just sent you a friend request on Facebook, but it's, <laughs> but it's an absolute delight to meet and talk to you in person or anything like that. Yeah, thank you. thank you for sharing your message with us. And, Absolutely. And we would actually like to extend our island hospitality to you. We got a ton of awesome places to eat here. Yes, sir. I know you're the epitome of fitness, but you know, uh, maybe you can have a piece of pie too. Or, I'll know, have no problem with that. We got really good barbecue. <laughs> we're we're going to show you some of that. Absolutely. All right. Thank have, you. Have a wonderful trip. You too. And thank please you. stay tuned because we will be back right after this. Thank you, sir. All right.